Well, as artificial intelligence remains a leading topic in the world of technology and a major driver, of course, of stock market performance, our next guest is a computer science professor at the University of Toronto. He's aiming to launch 50 AI companies to fast track commercialization in this country of the technology. We're joined now by Daniel Wigdor, chief executive officer and co-founder of Axel. That's a computer uh, a venture laboratory, a computer venture studio. He's also, as we said, a computer science professor at U of T. Daniel, thanks a lot for coming in. Thank you for having me. The, the problem you're trying to address is that Canada loses many of its patents in AI to other tech companies. Is that correct? The technology and talent th doesn't stay, stay here. Talk more about that. So uh, right now in Canada, 75% uh, of the patents that get filed in the AI space go to global tech giants. Of the remaining 25, only 7% stay here in Canada. But we lead the world in this technology and AI applied technology as well. And despite that fact, we're doing all this great research here, but it's not making its way into Canadian innovation and Canadian corporations. What, and why is that happening? What's the disconnect? What, how are we falling short there? So uh, the modern academic system was set up as what was called the endless frontier in the wake of World War II, uh, collaboration between Vanover Bush and Truman. And uh, what the bargain, the social contract that was made was government would uh, fund academic research, where you would get talent and ideas, and then applied research, where you would actually get innovations, and eventually that makes its way out into commercialization. Canada leads the world in AI foundational technologies and in applied computing, but it's that last step that we just never quite make correctly. And uh, what we're looking to do is to create the right opportunities and talent networks here in Canada so that we can pick up those results and begin to commercialize it here. Cash. So Daniel, as an outsider listening, am I accurate in, in, in saying that so we're finding the talent, we're funding it, we're doing all the hard stuff, and then it's leaving at the stage that it becomes monetized? It's leaving often a little bit before that as well. And leaving has changed over time what that means too. It used to mean that there was a, a regular flight from Toronto to Northern California or to Washington State. Uh, what it's meant now is that the global tech giants are setting up offices right here in Toronto, which is great for creating jobs, yeah. but you're absolutely right. Uh, it's uh, scooping up all that amazing talent and we're seeing them uh, accruing to non-Canadian businesses. So I'm seeing that your work involves building scalable artificial intelligence ventures uh, with real market demand. So uh, unpack that for us. What, what exactly are you doing to try and get there? Sure. So uh, in a venture studio, we're able to bring in, as I've said, the world leading technologies, uh, both in foundational AI, but then also in applied computing, where Canada leads the world as well. Uh, and then we're able to uh, find new opportunities to apply all of those things and to bring in all the talent. But then the key question is, what are the problems that we're going to solve? And the way that we uncover that is, we partner with great innovative companies. We've announced, for example, our partnership with Denton's, which is Canada's global law firm. Mm -hmm. uh, through that partnership, we go deep with our corporate partners. We study their business uh, over the course of several weeks and months. We gain a deep understanding of all the opportunities that exist in the Denton's case within the firm themselves for things that they would be a customer of, but then also for Denton's clients, what are the opportunities and problems that they're having that we could solve with AI that other people don't know could be solved that way? Right. And so what that means is, before we found one of our companies, we already have a validated problem, a first customer, and a strategic investor. So it's interesting that you're, the, the, the company that you mentioned is a law firm. I thought you were going to uh, tell me that you're partnering with other tech companies that can, uh, that can use and, and perhaps to further develop AI. What other kind of companies are you looking for to partner with? So uh, we have many partners established already and we're excited to announce them over time. Mm -hmm. um, fun, foundationally, because we're working in applying AI, Right? So there's the foundational technologies of large language models and the servers and things that people are uh, throwing billions and billions of dollars at right now. But all the real money in any platform is always made through the applications that get built over top of it. And that's the space that we're looking to operate. And so the partners that we're looking for are those companies that have problems that they themselves don't know could be solved with these amazing technologies. Yeah, that's great. And ha have you thought about, selfishly speaking, I'm thinking about what does that mean for our industry, the portfolio management industry, the family office industry? Have you partnered with anyone and what are some of the problems and potential uh, opportunities you see in that space, Daniel? So we uh, have no partnerships in that space ready to announce yet, uh, but we have started to investigate uh, that space, certainly. What we found in uh, so many of these spaces is the first step when we start talking to these organizations, they come to us and say, you know, here's what I think AI is for. I want to get rid of my assistant. I want an automated researcher, right? It's all about automating the things that would have done before. And if you think of a progression of crawling and then walking and then running with technology, that's really the crawling phase. 
of saying, what can we replace from the world that existed before? Once we can go deep and really understand the problems, we can get past that crawling phase and into the walking and then the running phase and building technologies that enable people to do things that were never before possible. And that's what we're excited to be doing. Yeah, it's, it's um, uh, our industry is so archaic as it comes to technology. It's, it's sort of the, the big secret that isn't that much of a secret. Like you think about just the consumer, you log into your online access to see your investment account. You see what you paid, the book value and the market value. And that's what it's been for the last 15 years. You know, tech Technology has really not found its way into the user experience for the clients of different investment management firms. So it'll certainly be interesting to see what happens with AI. Well, and that, the symptom, that is a symptom of people have an idea first and then they apply the technology as opposed to the approach we're taking where we go deep and understand the problems before we start to build the technology. How much, if any, government funding is involved here? At the moment, none. That's amazing. It's entirely, uh, you know, this is a commercial enterprise. We're going to build commercial enterprises right here in Canada. You're not seeking government uh, fi financing here. Uh, in, in Canada, there are great opportunities for uh, funding of things. And if there are ways that we can pour gasoline on the fire, as people like to say, then we're happy to investigate that and, and talk about it. But. Okay, let's finish with what comes next. You've, you've teased us a couple times saying that uh, other announcements are coming. How, how soon might we hear other announcements from you? Uh, in the next week, we'll be announcing our uh, largest partner that uh, uh, what we'll roll out and then we'll be continuously announcing more partners over the next uh, weeks and months. Well,